Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, we're going to show that this function, z, satisfies the heat equation. So let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So basically, all we have to do is take the partials and plug them into this equation and just verify that it's true. So before we take the partials, I'm going to rewrite this function in a way that might make it a little more convenient. So we have e to the negative t, but we can write the inside piece of cosine or, or at least we can think about it as 1 over c times x. Here c is a constant, right? So it's like a number times x. So like if we take the derivative of this um, with respect to x, it would just be 1 over c here in the, in the inside, right? So just thinking of the inside in a convenient way. All right, let's take the partial with respect to t. So del z, del t. So when we take the partial with respect to t, all of the x's are constants. So this whole cosine piece here is completely constant. So it just hangs out. So we just take the derivative of e to the negative t. Well, the derivative of e to the negative t is e to the negative t times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is negative t, so its derivative is negative 1. So we're just going to get negative e to the negative t cosine of 1 over c times x. That's going to be the left-hand side of the heat equation. So now we have to take the derivative of z with respect to x. So let's do it. So del z, del x. So now when we take this derivative, all of the t's are constants. So in particular, e to the negative t is treated as a constant. So we take the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine. So I'm going to put the negative and the negative t here. And then sine of 1 over c times x times the derivative of the inside function. So we're taking the derivative of 1 over c times x. So it's a number times x. So the derivative of x is 1, so we just get 1 over c. Maybe we can put the 1 over c in the front. So del z del x is equal to negative 1 over c e to the negative t sine of 1 over c times x. All right now we do it again, right? So the second derivative of z with respect to x. So again, all of the uh, t's are constants, so this is all going to hang out. And the derivative of sine is cosine this time, so we get negative 1 over c, e to the negative t, cosine of 1 over c times x, times the derivative of the inside, so 1 over c. Kind of scroll down. So this is going to be equal to, see, we have the second derivative with respect to x. And let's see. Uh, we can combine the c's here, right? So it'll be negative 1 over c squared e to the negative t cosine of 1 over c times x. All right, now we'll go ahead and do the verification. So let's do it. So to do the verification, um, I'm just going to go ahead and write down the equation again. So del z del t is equal to c squared. And this is the second derivative of z with respect to x. So the left-hand side is this piece right here. Right? So I'll just plug it in here. So it's negative e to the negative t cosine of 1 over c times x equals, and then c squared times this piece here. But that's over here. So this is negative 1 over c squared e to the negative t cosine 1 over c times x. And these cancel, and so we get exactly the same thing, and so everything has been verified. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful.